Well, holy smoke, is it ain't no joke, yes, guys. We need to call in the fire truck because this BBC Samurai situation still raging wildfires in Japan. And this is a real thumbnail somebody made, okay? We're gonna be getting right into the story. I don't think you guys are ready for this one, okay? We got the response, okay? We got Asman Gold in the story. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Just like the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because earlier today, you're, most of you guys are aware that they have issued an apology, you know? I was saying right they have issued the apology but there is way more than that yay we're gonna get into it put your seed belts on because if your seed belt has broken in these past few days man i gotta let you know straight away okay it's gonna be a bumpy ride the turbulence oh man forget about the turbulence it's gonna you're gonna see a roller coaster out here okay it's gonna go crazy now check this out so assassin's creed uh, apparently official their official twitter account x account as the gen z like to call it they have put out their apology in english okay english mother trucker and they have also put it on in japanese <laughs> yeah the same ubisoft that that actually sent japanese youtubers the uh, assassin's creed goods but it was written in chinese right and the japanese youtubers couldn't read japanese because it was Chinese, okay? So yeah, Ubisoft did that! Bruh. That happened! So we had that drama, and today they have issued the, the actual apology in Japanese. We're gonna actually take a look at that one, guys. Uh, but after that one, I also wanna show you the homie Asmongold, because he went bozo as well. And we also have the homie John Del Arrows. Okay, shout out to the homie John for this uh, work, of, uh, work of art right there. I mean, damn, homie. Put your seatbelts on, guys. It is time. Roll it. And uh, it starts out to our esteemed Japanese community. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> you know, you know, just with that, that it's gonna be cringe. A message from Assassin's Creed Shadows development team. First, we want to express our heartfelt thanks for your support. Who's supporting it? <laughs> like Alyssa Mercante from Kotaku. She's not Japanese, bro. Uh, <laughs> just because it says Kotaku, that they're Americans uh, and they're just shills because you're, they're paid to be. <laughs> Nobody else is supporting this. For the Assassin's Creed series, which is now uh, its own history spanning almost 20 years. Yeah, Over this time, we have explored various settings, time periods, and characters, from an assassin during the Third Crusade to a Viking in 9th century England, and countless more. For many on our team, creating an Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan has been a long cherished dream. <laughs> and then the DEI consultants got their little hands on it. Since the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we've received many positive reactions. Press X to doubt on that. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen anybody. <laughs> Many positive. You suck us crazy, bro. You suck us crazy. They're trying to like, you know, just soften the blow here. They're like, hey, tranquilo, papi, tranquilo. This is what they're doing. Nah, man. No more tranquilo. Okay. Uh, of course, the internet went crazy, and um, you know everybody's beefing right now. And this is what Ubisoft said, right? Like everybody's trying to call in the fire truck right now, but Ubisoft is like. Uh, it's too icy to go to work, maybe? Oh, that's cute, man, that's cute, okay? So yeah, uh, no, get to work, man. We need the fire trucks on this one, bro. Immediately, it's burning out here, bro. Possibly about this Wait game. For Nobody. It. Uh, as soon as they released that clip with Yasuke, with the hip-hop music, beheading Japanese guys, no, it was it was over at that point. Oh my gosh. But also some, criti some criticism, <laughs> including from you, our Japanese players. We share your passion for history, uh, yeah, right, and deeply respect your care for historical and cultural integrity of your rich heritage. You clearly don't. I mean, <laughs> this is, you just put a black guy in Japan and then decided to make it gay. I mean, come, obviously you don't. Come on. Uh, we would like to address a few points to clarify our intention and, and creative decisions. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, uh -oh, two out of four, guys. But wait, there is more. Yeah, man, after this fourth one, man, like, you got the timeline here. Okay, now we are on number two. Wait till we, got, we go on number three. Then wait till we go on number four. And then wait till the climax, okay? The ride is gonna be bumpy, okay? You think that this was like, the, this is the first wave of the turbulence here that you're experiencing. Wait till you experience the fourth level turbulence. All right, here we go, boys. Work, really Buckle up. Overall authenticity efforts. We have put significant effort into ensuring immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. I, I couldn't even get through that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Respectful, representation, immersive. Oh yes. Oh yes. So much effort. However, our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games, including Assassin's Creed Shadows, as factual representations of history. Now, this is an outright lie. They have said that they're 
very keenly trying to put this into history. Their big defense mm -hmm. of this has been Yasuke was an actual historical figure. This is the yeah. whole point of this whole controversy is they've been pushing saying, no, he was historically a samurai. We have experts that say this. So they are completely lying. Okay, so now they're saying Assassin's Creed Shadow is first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction. Just the other day, these suckers, like a person, a guy that was working uh, and is working at Ubisoft came out so that it's historically accurate. Yeah, we, we actually made a video and you know, he he actually said it and, and we talked about it and he said that people are gonna learn the Japanese history through this game. Yeah, discover the feudal Japan, learn the Japanese history with, with that gay BBC samurai. Y yeah, oh, he said that! He said that and they doubled down on the fact that Yasuke was gay. And, and listen, man, like, if you, I said it before, I'll say it again, okay? Yasuke is a real person, number and first of all, okay? And he was not gay. If the real life person was gay, makes sense for them to make him gay in the game because it's accurate, right? But he was not and they still made him gay. It's like, uh, Ubisoft was like, okay, tell me your biggest achievement, okay? Tell me what you did in life. Y Yasuke is like, okay, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that, okay? Yes, uh, make a game on me, right? Of course, I'm trying to be hypothetical. Yasuke did not ask for them to make the game. Uh, rest in peace, homie, RIP, homie, like, yeah, he might be, like, watching all of this unfold from heaven, okay? Like, and, and, and yeah, bro, he cannot come down here and defend himself. This is why it's so disrespectful that they they made a dead person gay in the game when he was not. It's like, it's the same thing, right? If, for example, if any of the uh, LGBT people watching this video, you might be like, e -e -a -u -e -a 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 -a. right? Uh, and they make you, like, full-blown straight. How are you gonna feel? And, and, and I forget about all of this, right? Like, if he was gay, that makes sense. But he was not, and they made him gay. Absolutely dis uh, disgraceful, disrespectful. Uh, it's like the same thing, right? Like, they portray you as somebody as you're not. You're not that. And they're like, okay, no, man, that was your biggest achievement. We, got, we gotta make you gay, first of all, okay? Number one, we gotta make you black and gay, and that's it, bro. It's the second crazy. And on top, we're, what we're finding out is that Thomas Lockley, the guy that made him a samurai, uh, he was the guy that made him a samurai. Apparently, what we're finding out, it was a lie, and he was not a samurai, so that's, like, number two, okay? And the Japanese homies, they're going, they're going crazy, they're going in gang gang right now, and, uh, you know, the petition almost had 100,000 signatures uh, on petition.org, right? So that happened as well. The Japanese politician <laughs> got involved as well, and they're like, hey, we're investigating, and we're also gonna wait till the game comes out to investigate it even further. And, on they, of course, they're being disrespectful to the Japanese culture, and all also stereotyping the black culture as well, making them black and gay, right? It's like every time, nowadays it's, every time we have a black person in the game, if it's a man and black, they make him gay. Like, dog, like why is that? And you got the Japanese homies buying down to him, he's walking around with armor on, hip hop music playing, just slaying like, ta 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 you know, like slicing all the Japanese homies, he's like, ata boy, ata, stop boy, pump the brakes, and he's like, omae wa mou shinde. You know what I'm saying? But but he the homie's like Bumble Cloud, bruh. I'ma hit you right there, I'ma hit you right there. You ain't even gonna see me coming. You cannot even say my boy couldn't even finish saying Shinde. Oh my wa mu shinde. He couldn't even like look at that damn man. Look at all the fruits falling on the ground too. God damn, bro. Like look at that, bruh. Like that is just crazy. Hip hop music playing. Dis uh, di uh, using black people as shields, using LGBT people as shields, just disrespecting. It's like uh, uh, disrespecting Japanese culture was not enough. There was, they were like, okay, so we gotta use LGBT people as shields, and we also gotta go crazy at the black homies as well, man. We gotta go crazy on the black people too, bro. Crazy, but wait, but wait for it. In here, completely gaslighting Japanese gamers. Uh, this is crazy. Instead, we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore and learn more about the historical settings we get inspired by. Oh my gosh, that's why you put in a sword from One Piece, right? <laughs> Uh, so lazy. Assassin's Creed Shadows, first and foremost, is designed to- uh, Context, they basically stole uh, assets as well. That's what he was referring to. ...be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal Japan. No, it's not. It's first designed to be a DEI replacement agenda, blackwashing history, so that uh, everybody worships the blacks. Let's let's be honest, like, I'm just not even going to mince words as to what this DEI agenda is. And then, it's hey. trying to convince everybody that to play gay romance options, so that they push the homosexual agenda on top of this. This is global homo, <laughs> the corporation incarnate right here. Ubisoft is one of the most evil corporations out there. Oh, uh, this is a perfect moment. Oh, we cannot miss that. This is beautiful. Uh, we, we gotta rewind just a little bit. This is beautiful. Guys, guys, clench your butt cheeks, okay? T 
tighten up your seat belt a little more. I know a lot of you guys are wearing seat belts right now, but tighten that sucker up right now, okay? Tighten that seat belt up, because it's gonna go crazy right now. Roll it. Oh, oh no, my, my bad. You gotta synchronize it. Protect our turned persecutor. Great. Protect our turned persecutor. Greed cannot rule this village. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Otherwise, otherwise, this beat goes crazy, though. I like the beat, actually. Bruh. I do like the beat. The beat is crazy. But, of course, the way they did it, it's wild, okay? This is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies. And there's one guy that actually I saw this comment. Uh, let me zoom out so you guys can read it. I know, guys, it's kind of, like, zoomed out. But just just take your fingers and, like, on the mobile, just go crazy, okay? Just zoom in like that, okay? Go crazy on the mobile. This guy had the perfect response. Altair, they use a Syrian, Palestine, Arabic uh, person, right? For the game. As your Italian Armo is Arno. My bad if I'm butchering your guys' country's name or something. My bad, okay? I apologize in advance, okay? You got the French character for a French setting, uh, uh, Egyptian for the Egyptian setting, right? Connor, USA, narrative, uh, Native American, absolutely makes sense. But for Japan, they had Yasuke, right? Gay African. <laughs> This guy is saying, if you can't see why this is unfair to Japanese fans, you are blind. And I think he's spitting facts. Like the video if you think he's spitting facts, but uh-oh. Uh, they are so bad on their employees with the DEI stuff. I'm talking to one right now who's going to expose them. We're going we're to have the screenshots that show you amazing things on the channel very, very soon. So don't miss okay. it. Be, be here for that. Uh, okay. And uh, it's so bad there that that's all they're about. They're not about games. They're not about history. They're not about making anything for the consumer. They hate gamers. Uh, they want you dead, to be honest. And they want you replaced by gay blacks. <laughs> Are there any gay black people watching this? Uh, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Doubt. Uh, our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. Despite these sustained efforts, <laughs> despite being 13% of the population, <laughs> we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional materials have caused concern within the Japanese community. Namely, okay. all elements of your promotional materials. For this, we sincerely apologize. So they're only apologizing for their promotional materials, not the game, not the, not the misrepresentation of Yasuke, not the fact that they lied and said that it was a historical game, not the fact that they gaslit you about experts to say that this was uh, completely accurate even though it wasn't. Uh, they're just going to ap uh, apologize for like the fact that their promotional material has a banner that <laughs> was in it. That's all they, that's it. All the game footage presented so far is in development. The game will keep evolving until launch. Uh, the only way to evolve it at this point, Ubisoft people, is to completely scratch this, get rid of your black protagonist, get rid of your woman uh, ninja, and uh, get rid of the gay crap in it, and then uh, and restart the storyline from scratch. I mean, you might be able to save things at that point. Uh, it's possible, but uh, that's what has to be done. I, I, I mean, remember the Sonic the uh, the Sonic movie. You guys remember the Sonic the movie when they first revealed it? A lot of people went crazy as well. And, and what they did was they delayed the movie, if I, if I remember correctly, and then they fixed it, and that movie did get a lot of praise after that. The reviews in the very beginning were very, very bad. Uh, when I say reviews, I mean, like, it was dis a dislike, like, to hell over on YouTube, and everybody in the comments was like, nah, man, this, this is, uh, like, not what we want, all this and that. Uh, and then they took in that feedback, and uh, I, I believe that movie did very, very well after that. So they did respond it very well to it but i understand this is a video game though so this is a game and it's not as simple as to changing uh, of course like they can I, I suppose they can delay the game by one year and fix all of that and it's gonna be much better but they're not gonna do it like let's be real right like ubisoft is uh in a very very bad state right now uh so that they're losing money like money like crazy they're not gonna do it they're not gonna do it they rather keep the activists making their games instead of delaying the game and let the actual gamers as developers game the, the devs that play games uh make this game instead right they're, they're not gonna do that they're happy with activists uh making making their games i wouldn't release this game at this point i mean that'd be nuts but you're gonna kill your brand and it's up to you based on the constructive criticism we have received we will continue our efforts uh until we put the game into your hands and beyond that means they're gonna give you a glorified beta test that doesn't have a complete game, and you're going to have to pay a bunch of microtransactions in order to complete the game, is what that means, like every other company. We also want to clarify that while we have been consulting with many people throughout the development process, they are in no way responsible for the decisions that are taken by the creative teams in the interest of the gameplay and the entertainment. So this is to take the heat off the consultants. So, you know, if you get into a Sweet Baby Inc. situation and we find these consultants, we're not supposed to blame them uh, for the DEI. It's all Ubisoft. Well, at least they're taking culpability for that, I guess. Oh, Consequently, yeah. we respectfully request that any criticism not be directed at our collaborators, both internal and external. Um, and this is garbage. I mean, honestly, if anybody is pushing this agenda and is doing this and is collaborating to add to this problem, uh, they should be shamed for it. 100%. Name and shame. Uh, that's the only way we're going to stop this stuff. We need to stop this nonsense from these people. Creative liberties and historical inspirations. While we strive for authenticity in everything we do, uh, Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and figures. From this is a long, long, long 
Yeah. Steep. This is crazy. Uh, Defcon number four coming in, boys. Uh, <laughs> the series has taken creative license, incorporated fantasy elements to craft engaging and immersive experiences. The representation of Yasuke in our game is an illustration of this. He's a un unique and mysterious life made him an ideal candidate to tell the Assassin's Creed stories with the setting of feudal Japan as a backdrop. Mm -hmm. uh, no, he was just chosen because he was black and that you just wanted a black lead regardless of setting. And you wanted to, to prove that uh, that a black lead is... Uh, dog, like there's so many amazing stories that they can tell in Africa too, right? Like, of course, uh, they, they can make a game and I'm pretty sure in the future they're probably gonna... They probably would have had... Have, had, would have had plans for Assassin's Creed in Africa. They 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 can use a like use a black character there uh, and tell so many really good African stories as well. People do love diversity. Look at Ghost of Ghost of Tsushima. Nobody was mad except for these Wokies, right? They got mad. I mean, there was nothing to be mad about. Uh, gamers collectively loved that. Uh, loved uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, and the reason people loved it was because diversity, diversity done well. That's that was the primary reason it was uh, considered uh, to be, you know, a good one. Diversity done good. The story was amazing. Gameplay was good, and graphically speaking, was also good. It, it felt like a real passion project, and uh, the game was done well as uh, done right as well. And nobody complained about it, right? Di people don't mind the diversity. It's just the the D DEI crap and the woke BS when it's forceful. Uh, when you're destroying somebody's culture, disrespecting someone's culture, of course, people are gonna have a problem. With it. Absolutely, so is something appropriate for every setting. What's well, stop lying? Like I, it's crazy. While Yasuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows, we acknowledge this is a matter of debate and discussion, and that he was most likely not a samurai. That was not in there, but most likely not. Uh, they do not make Gaijin samurai. That doesn't happen. Wow. We have woven this carefully into our narrative and with our other lead characters, the Japanese shinobi Naobi, Naoi, who is equally important in the game. But don't forget that the gay chick is going to be equally important, Japanese people. Yes, uh, that's that's a that's a makes a lot of sense in feudal Japan yeah. too. Uh, our dual protagonists provide players with different gameplay styles, and all of them are an affront to Japanese history. We greatly value your feedback and encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts respectfully. Oh, yes. <laughs> While we understand that meeting everyone's expectation is difficult, we sincerely hope that when Assassin's Creed Shadows launches on November 15th, players in Japan and around the world appreciate the dedication, effort, and passion we poured into it. We do not, because that's all a lie. So Cabrutus, who runs DEI Detected, great website, said, I stopped reading right uh -oh. here, uh, right after they said they put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful rep representation of... It's it's going to be interesting. Now, uh, seriously, though, uh, we don't know how much it's going to sell. Maybe it's going to sell really, really well in the beginning and then just, like, die after that. What I mean by is that uh, people that want to buy the game, they buy day one. People that don't want to buy the game, they're ultimately not going to buy. So, therefore, it's going to see a spike and then come crashing down or maybe nothing's really gonna happen and people are just gonna buy the game buy the game right it's gonna be really really interesting to see what happens because normally whenever there is this much backlash and there's this much negative uh, uh mark because yeah this is negative marketing it create it sells more it sells uh, generally speaking right like the, the the game does sell well if there is a lot of backlash like that it's gonna be interesting to see what happens but Little japan uh, hypnotic said imagine trying to speak for an entire country who's being used to sell this game and it's okay no one there cares like what lmao you are dei kool-aid drinking fool if you don't see how pissed off the japanese people are racist as hell well that's the whole reason they put this out i mean they, they know they've got a massive problem yeah and they, they were trying to yeah they, they wouldn't have put out this apology if nobody was mad like almost a hundred thousand signatures oh man you crazy hundred thousand signatures japanese politicians getting involved as well and of course people here in north america are also talking about it everybody's talking about it right like i've seen black youtubers talk about it too japanese youtubers talking about it everybody's talking about it because it's just unfair it's just disrespectful as well and a lot of gamers all across the board right white purple brown black uh uh, BBC holders, uh, non-BBC holders, BWC holders, non-BBC holders, right? Yeah. Everybody's talking about it. So, like, gamers are uniting. Uh, there are still some people that are, yeah, it's just a game. It's just a game. I, I do stand behind it's just a game most of the time, but this time, dog, it's not just a game. Like, they're spitting on our faces, they're pissing on our heads, and just telling you, hey, don't look up. It's just the rain, bro. It's just the rain. If you look up, you're gonna realize they're literally pissing on your heads right now, bruh. Uh, and they, just the other day, they said that it's historically accurate. In the very, very beginning, they said historically accurate. Then uh, there was this, uh, when this drama started raging, they said historical fiction. Just the other day, they said historically accurate again. And in this apology, uh, they say historical fiction once again to just like calm it down a little bit. But yeah quell that without taking responsibility and using corporate gobbledygook speak hoping that will work it reminds me of like remember when there was that like oil spill 
And uh, BP uh, put out all those commercials being like, we greatly apologize, <laughs> even though they like didn't line the oil tanker properly uh, and safely uh, for, to hit anything. And so, uh, and so they like killed millions of animals and fish uh, because uh, of just their corporate incompetence. That's exactly what we're seeing here. So this, is, this is oil spill the video game. <laughs> okay, I I'm not aware of what he's talking about, but... Grum said, Assassin's Creed Shadows repeatedly touted their attention to historical and cultural accuracy. That's They really did. Until they got called out by Japan, now they're pretending it was always fantasy. It it's so insulting to gamers' intelligences. And uh, yeah, they got 24 likes on it. 5,000 uh, replies. Uh, 24,000. Can I brother get two likes? Okay, I, I gotta show you this one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, roll it. However, our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games uh, as factual representations of history or historical characters. Instead, we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore and learn more about the historical settings we get inspired by. I think that people wouldn't have as much of a problem if you made up a character, but the fa I, I think that what people are really annoyed at with the Assassin's Creed thing is the fact that a lot of this seems to be built on a very shaky foundation. And on top of it being built on a very shaky foundation, it's also built off of a holier-than-thou approach of like, what do you mean he's not a samurai? Are you some kind of a racist? What do you mean this isn't relevant? Are you some kind of a racist? And I think that's what people really don't fucking like. People don't like something that's happening for an obvious reason, and anybody that calls it out is tr is like shamed into being quiet. It's fucking yeah. annoying. It's so yeah. obnoxious to see people like this. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, how does it affect you? Bro, how does it affect you by doing it? What's the most historic Assassin's Creed? I don't know. I, I think that really the difference here is that with a lot of the other existing main characters and stories, as far as I know, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but many of the characters that are created in the Assassin's Creed games are fictional characters. These are not historical characters. I understand that in some games you interact with historical characters, but I'm talking about playing a character like Ezio, like all these. So it's a very different topic and a very different conversation when you're making a character that is completely fake and it's like i'm inventing this character for the story versus yeah. i am creating this character from a historical yeah th this is a perfect comment that i showed you guys this is a perfect comment alter as you are no bike right connor uh the reason uh yeah i i didn't even know i, I didn't play assassin's creed game past assassin's creed black flag though so yeah but okay as you italian uh, this is a perfect comment. This is a perfect comment. Context, and then saying this is who the character was, and then if anybody questions it or says this might be off, I'm calling them a racist. This is very different. You're, you're like in one case you are basically writing fan fiction, and in the other case you are rewriting history. It's a massive fucking difference. Yeah. yeah There's yeah, a historical yeah. battle with fictional samurai. Well, here's the thing. Do y'all ever think that they'd ever make an Assassin's Creed game where you help the South win the Civil War? Absolutely fucking not. Do you think that they'd ever make a Civil War movie where you help Nazis? Absolutely fucking not. No. It's because the reason why they're doing this and they're presenting it this way is because it aligns with their worldview and they're trying to push this out there to everybody. That's the reason why they're trying to virtue signal because their company was embroiled in as much sexual harassment lawsuit stuff as Blizzard was. They're trying to make up for the fact that if you look at the actual development studio, you look at the people that work at the company, it's just a bunch of fucking white people, but they want to act like they're super diverse in the video games. And why is it? I think that they're overcompensating personally, but you know, that's just my opinion. He's referring to the, the 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 picture that was recently revealed of the devs that were working at Ubisoft. It was just like all the white women. Nothing wrong with that, but it's like, but when you do this crap, of course people are gonna question it, right? So yeah, it's it, it's you don't really care about the you know making it telling a story. You, you it's the liberal white women that are destroying everything they touch. Essentially, that's basically what it's what it's all about. I mean, yeah, you can actually you could have made a fictional game completely, but you chose like real world characters and do that crap so care about doing it in a way that is congruent that makes you look good that's what matters it's so inauthentic and so we end up uh, assassin's creed shadows is first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal japan our team extensively collaborated with external consultants historians researchers and internal teams at ubisoft uh extensively okay off japan to inform our creative choices extensively right, okay so um i mean yeah those historians about that yeah, that was not so good, huh? The irony is- Guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently happened. The Dr. Disrespect and Chris Tyson situation. Absolutely wild, okay? Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left. But check out these videos, man. And I'll see you right